episode. And this one is about the new era we're entering, the South era, a new era of the Zandian blockchain. And I talk about AI accountability because that is something that is a hot topic these days. And it's something where the Zandium storage layer can help a lot to make AI more accountable. So this is what it's all about in this video. So make sure you watch it to the end so that you see everything, right? <clears throat> and if you like videos like these, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. AI accountability, why is that something people are concerned about? Everyone's talking about AI safety and you know ais and llms in specific like uh, large language models like chat gpt or grok or gemini or Claude or whatever you you might be using there they could be biased right they could be even infiltrated by state actors um they could do all sorts of things right we want them to be accountable and they don't digitally sign their responses, by the way, right? So all those responses, they, they refuse to sign, right? If they sign their response, someone would say, okay, I sent this and that request to Gemini, and Gemini gave me this and that answer. And then Google could say, well, <clears throat> no, it never happened, right? This guy just made that up. It's a fake, right? If they would sign their responses, if they did sign their responses, then, you know, they would be accountable. But hey, they are not accountable by themselves, right? It's like without pressure, they don't make themselves accountable. And hey, here's where the Zandium storage layer um, can add a lot of value because um, there could be an app, a demo app, in our south era right so we're just transitioning from deep south to south and you will see the first release of the south era real soon it's already finished internally in our development and the only thing we're doing is like add a little bit of um, a storage layer there add a little bit of um um, a demo app, right? The actual technology of the Munich release, the first release in the South Era, is done. So the developers, two-thirds of the development team, is already working on the next release, on the Herrenberg release. Can you believe that? So great, great progress. And now it's all about these demo apps. And I've been talking about a decentralized ver version of Wikipedia a lot. That is still in the works, right? but making AI accountable, you know, sending queries to these LLMs constantly, right? With timestamps and showing, you know, I sent them this request, they answered like that and storing all these queries and answer in the Zandium storage layer, tamper-proof, censorship resistant, that makes those AIs accountable because without AI accountability, we can't get AI safety, right? So that is a great, great demo app um, for the Zandium storage layer. I hope you're all excited. I, you know, there's no name yet. There is no concrete idea. There, there are some concrete ideas, but not the ones that I could talk about uh, as of today. But we just feel that is a great, great, great demo app. Um, and we're working on all these demo apps now that the Munich Foundation is done. So the first little demo will be that file explorer so that we can really see what Zandium does, right? Like a little bit like paste bin um, plus Dropbox functionality. So we have files and directories and subdirectories and we can drag and drop and move directories and we can delete files and we can paste something into a file. A little bit like if you know paste bin, it's a very popular app. Um, it's similar, right? So you can create a new file in that file system in the directory structure and paste something in there, right? And, and, and that demos what we can actually do, even though it's not yet that super helpful, but maybe it is, right? If you have a paste bin that's kind of censorship resistant and tamper proof because it's all stored on these P nodes, that would be, um, um, you know, a step forward in itself. But then come the other demo apps that we're working on. And also, we are giving grants, right? We're still working with Super Team. Um, so there will be projects out there on Super Team where you can build your own apps on Zandium, 
all the documentation. The documentation, it's like, you know, it is so easy to use for a developer, right? Of course, it's not easy for every, not, not everyone can develop software, right? But if you're already developing for Solana, right? It's a steep learning curve, right? Writing Solana apps is a steep learning curve, I'll tell you, right? I started making Node Store a few years ago, and you know it's quite a learning curve. But um, with all that said, um, it's not that much that's being added uh, with the Xandium storage layer, right? It's all super integrated into Solana, and that's our design goal, and and we've achieved that design goal, right? It's all, it's not much added. It's a thin, thin layer and it's all within the Solana universe. And you will see that once the developer documentation is out. We already have it. We just want to put it all live once everything's there and once the file explorer is working. Um, but, you know, internally all, you know, all engines are already running on the next release, the Herrenberg release, uh, which will already make it a little bit even more decentralized and it will have some search functionality and that enables the first demo apps um, to become developed. So that is all super exciting. AI accountability. Guys, I think, honestly, AI needs to be accountable. Otherwise, we cannot have safe AI and the risks are real, right? I'm not one of those doomsday guys that says like, okay, AI will kill us and stuff like that. It might. The risks are there, right? It's not like it's happening tomorrow or next year, but we need to make sure AI is safe. And in order for AI to be safe, they need to be accountable first, right? So we need to test them and send them test queries and document how they responded in a tamper-proof storage layer and then offer all these reports for the world, for journalists, for people that want to post about it on X, and maybe you want to post about it on X and see all these stats and how all these, these LLMs, all these AI systems uh, respond. And I think that's a great, great demo app because it hits a nerve of the time, right? Reporters would love to write about it. There are so many people on X that would love to write about it and get these reports out of our AI accountability tool built on top of the Xandium storage layer. I think that's all great. And I heard here from my team that the, um, the live questions, the live chat is on. I'm not sure if I could see it here. Yeah, I see a few and just hello. And you know, I just want to keep it uh, short today. Um, you see today I moved outside. I'm not in my usual YouTube studio anymore. I moved it outside to, uh, to my backyard and uh, you might see my, uh, my beautiful pool there. It doesn't show with the nice colors that it usually has just because I'm in the shade and that's in the sun. So that's almost like white there. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, I'll keep this video just a little bit shorter, but so just so that you know, right, we're transitioning into the new era the base technology layer is done. We're working on that file explorer. It used to be read-only, right? So now we're adding some functionality, functionality that you can actually write data into those files um, on, on our file explorer and then find it back there. And that demos the whole thing of the Xandium storage layer together with the documentation how easy it is if you know how to write Solana programs, right? And, you know, don't expect it to be like anyone can do that, right? With the P nodes, we're aiming for that, for anyone to be able to do that. And with the 300 P nodes that we had in the Deep South era, you know, we've learned a lot. We, we're going to make it way, way simpler because that's the only way we can get thousands of people of running those, those P nodes, right? Um, so that's for one. Um, but for developing apps, it's not everyone's. you got to be a developer. And even if you're a developer and you know all that programming, that paradigm and stuff, it is still a different thing to write a Solana app. And Xandium won't make it any easier for you to write a Solana app. So you first have to learn how to write a Solana decentralized app. And there is lots of resources out there 
But I'm telling you, it's not for everyone, right? It's, you'd, you'd have to learn that. But once you learn how to write a Solana app, the added learning curve to write an, an app on Xandium utilizing our full storage layer is super, super thin, and it's a super, super, um, uh, you know, flat learning curve. You can, you know, if you know how to write a Solana app, you learn that in a matter of very, very few days, maybe even one day, to learn how to build an app on Xandium that is fully, fully storage enabled. And you use those same methodology, you use the same RPC calls, you use the same Solana Web3.js, and you just add the Xandium Web3.js on top of that, and boom, you can access a full scalable storage layer with all the, all the features in there. That has never happened in the world. Nobody has that, right? As an addition to smart contracts, addition to the decentralized apps that are being developed anyway, and just build, just harness that storage layer in addition to that. So we are super, super close to that, and we are right now super pumped for the demo apps that will be coming, and the demo apps that coming with the Munich release. We just don't want to release Munich to the world and say, hey, here's the Munich release, and nobody can see anything, right? The Munich release itself is just the technology, the base technology, so that developers can access the storage layer. That's done, but we want to have that file explorer so that people can play with it. And, and they can use it like a paste bin, um, you know, married to a Dropbox, right? It's, a, it's basically a Dropbox. Um, you can use it just as a Dropbox, but it's all stored decentralized on those P-Notes. On these guys, thank you, everyone that's running a P-Note and purchased a P-Note and, and is doing all that. So it's, you know, it's a decentralized Dropbox and plus that paste bin functionality and of course it's basic right it's it's just a demo app and it's just the initial version but it'll showcase to you what xandium actually can do right and that hasn't been possible before and we will harness that with our bunch of demo apps the decentralized wikipedia being one of it but also the ai accountability and i'm you know, more excited than ever, than ever about the AI accountability just because it hits a nerve of the time. It is novel and it's only possible through the Xandium storage layer. Nobody else can do that because if you store all those data of the queries and stuff just in a centralized uh, uh, a database or something, it doesn't really add to accountability. You need to trust that guy that stores it in that database but hey, we do it in a decentralized fashion. So that is super, super exciting. And uh, again, I'll skip the, uh, the online uh, Q&A today. You know, all the other videos that I had recently were just like, just like a little surprise AMA. I'm skipping that today, but I'll promise you next week, every Thursday, noon Pacific, um, I'll post new videos and uh, I'll do it again next time. Um, but for now, Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, catch you later. Peace.